Hi there, Gemini! And welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of October the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Page of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Two of Wands upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright. And lastly, we have the King of Wands. You have the Royal Couple here. All of your cards are in the upright position. The Queen and King of Wands. There seems to be a commitment involved heavy duty this week, uh, Gemini, for you. With the, the Royal Couple being here, especially with the Hierophant being in the spread, it it speaks to me about uh, two people being on board with something and ready to commit to it. Now, for some of you, this is just an overall observation from looking at the cards. Um, for some of you, this could represent a partnership, a business partnership, um, where you're totally in agreement of something where there could be a contract involved. For others of you, this could be about a relationship, the king and queen of... Um, wands together along with the hierophant could represent a commitment between two people who are ready to take action and solidify some kind of uh, relationship contract so that's just a little footnote let's get on with your central energy which is the queen of wands in the upright position this is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is fire energy aries leo sag sun moon um or rising now the queen of wands is somebody who's known as someone who takes action. She does not let her any grass grow under her feet. She's ready to move. She knows the timing of and the importance of moving in the correct direction at the right time. So it could be somebody, the Queen of Wands could represent a partner for some of you. Business partner could be your romantic partner, could be your spouse, could be a friend, a family member, a boss. It could be pretty much anyone in your life. But this could also represent you, Gemini, just ready to make a move towards something and you're absolutely sure about it. Um, you also have someone else here who's on board who's absolutely sure about the movement forward. So it looks like it's time to get moving here. <laughs> Gemini to take action on something. Now, right at the beginning of the week, you do have the Page of Pentacles here in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person if it's representing a person. This time we're dealing with Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now, remember, pages are known for their messenger abilities. They love to send messages. So it could be some of you, you're getting a text message. It could be from a Page of Pentacles. It could be somebody who is messaging you on the romantic front. Remember, these are just general reads, so take it how it applies in your situation. For others of you, the Page of Pentacles can represent hearing from a younger person, uh, an important message concerning anything from, um, because this is he is known as the scholar of the Page of Pentacles, so it could be about hearing from a younger person in your life. Maybe they got a scholarship for others of you. It could be about uh, a younger child or grandchild, perhaps, that needs funds for education that kind of thing. For others of you, it could be a message about an apprenticeship for you yourself, Gemini, where perhaps you are getting a message about an apprenticeship job or a potential potentiality. For others of you, this is just getting a message that concerns uh, the things, the tangible things in life that the Pentacles represent, such as home, property, investments, finances, um, jobs, that kind of thing. All the tangible things in life that you know, that are a part of the realistic world. So it could be you were getting a message, but it looks like this message that comes through is going to be cause for contemplation, serious contemplation for you, Gemini, because the two of wands follows it in the upright position. This is all about being one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but prepping to move forward. If you notice in the two of wands, this person is, it's technically, I guess, a decision uh, type of energy, but it really is no decision for the the person in the 
in the card because this person seems to be making his choice to move forward. He is holding the globe in his hand. Sometimes it can indicate a choice to move forward in terms of a move. Could be moving across town, could be moving to another uh, city, could be moving across the country or to another country. It's anything like that. This is contemplating the future and ready to, to take steps to move forward. Remember, you've got the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands wants to take action and move forward. So it looks like maybe for for some of you, you just needed to get this message, get this um, going, and now, you know, you're planning to make your move. You're, you're going to physically start moving or moving in the direction of. See, two is a very balanced number, so it's like you're weighing things out, but at, at the end of the day, it looks like you're ready to leave the past behind and move forward, and you're taking action. And the next step is the commitment card, which is the Hierophant. Taurus energy in the upright position. This is all about signing contracts, making uh, major moves, major commitments, could be to uh, a relationship. It can also represent making, uh, signing on the dotted line again. We talked about the potentiality here for a message about uh, jobs, finances, home, property. It could be you're ready to sign contracts on any of those numbers of things. Um, signing a contract maybe for a job that's overseas or something like that. But you're definitely committing to something. And the last card you have is the King of Wands in the upright position. Again, more fire energy, Taurus Virgo, uh, sorry, uh, Aries, Leo Sag. Like I mentioned, with the Queen of wands here and then you have the commitment card so definitely some of you are making a commitment to another person this could be on the romantic front but others of you this is about making a commitment and moving forward getting aid and help from another person this could be a business partnership where you are signing a contract to move ahead with something together so whatever it is, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Uh, does this make sense to you? Are you moving forward with something else? Ready to sign on the dotted line? Because it sure looks like you did. With all of this wand energy here, it looks like it's fast movement. So maybe the beginning of the week getting this message looks like it propels you forward to start moving forward in, in the right direction that you want to do. You're ready to make this commitment, it looks like, Gemini. So... I can't wait to hear from you in the comment section. That's what I have for you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, tune in next week for your next week's video. <laughs> Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.